Hi, hey, how you doing? If you enjoyed the Scooge podcast and supporting the pod seems like it's worth the money, you can click our anchor.fm page support link. It's that first link in the description box down below and all of our videos. If you make your contribution, you can add your own custom message or question, which we'll read on the show. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode... You guessed it, seventeen of the Scooch Podcast. Uh, we're we're about to get into like our ages into the Scooch Podcast. We got to do something special when those puff up. Yeah, our <laughs> not really. We got to do something special. <laughs> oh my god, this episode. Uh, how old am I? Twenty three. <laughs> oh no, um, what's Darius gonna do in this one? He's gonna do a special video for it yay episode 23 is creeping up on us soon you know yeah definitely definitely i think on episode 21 we should all just get hammered because dog i fucking love that (laughs) oh we would have to talk about like the shittest movie for episode 21 (laughs) i've never been drunk before so it'd just be fun oh it's a it's a good experience it's it's just the the build up that's bet not the build up but mm. like the just the drinking the alcohol it's not entirely mm. pleasant yeah i mean yeah i've drunk alcohol before i just <clears> never <throat> been drunk before mm. I see. yeah yeah that'd be a fun time um yeah, it, would. it would have to be like a disastrously bad movie that's just like <laughs> impossible to talk about sober <laughs> and I don't, I don't know i can't think of a movie maybe suicide squad who knows, that would be yeah, one sure. <laughs> like that's not even like a guilty pleasure watch that's just a bad movie pretty insufferable mm-hmm. mm. uh yeah i'm i'm kind of shocked we're here episode 17 yeah you know? i'm sure sh- like like it was almost i feel like it was almost immediately after um the last video <laughs> they they instantly dropped the other five episodes and were just like oh Dog, if we just waited like another week or two, we could have just looked at the whole thing as a whole. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> After we reviewed episode one through five, it was like announced like almost instantly. Coming next week, the rest of the season is like, well, all right. But, <laughs> you know, we had some setbacks and we're here now. So today we're going to be talking about episode six through ten of Primal Season One gonna give our, gonna break it down give our thoughts have a good time you know what the scooch podcast is all about baby you can probably say that uh this is um why primal is good for adult animation video essay why primal is important for the adult animation <laughs> why primal is important for um animation in general why primal is the perfect family guy successor (laughs) how how guinea tartakovsky thought of primal (laughs) while making dexter did he he was like whoa caveman no 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 no, oh yeah there was a caveman in one yeah. episode one i've instance. seen that uh, i've seen that episode i'm like this isn't this isn't <clears throat> this isn't spear this caveman has a whole ass family that was mean Ooh, that was mean that, that was, was mean that was mean <laughs> i mean the guy had a family to start off with now you're gonna no, bring I mean, it up i mean like a, i mean like a whole like clan of people not just like his oh like a whole family. tribe yeah hmm i wonder if gindy has like a whole blueprint written out for primal i i don't know like it ends like how like you know what i mean like he he has a set ending that he's working towards too and he's not going along you know doing writing it as he goes along with each episode i doubt it's like that but yeah yeah i'm just curious if he if he knows what's going to happen within this world and with these characters throughout this whole series like planned out because just off the top of my head um bad with names forget his name but the creator of breaking bad had the whole story already planned out 
from the mm-hmm. get-go. So I wonder if it's a case like that or... It's, it's potentially the case because I remember... Um... During Samurai Jack, I feel like, um, cause there were talks for like a long time <clears throat> after the, um, show ended about like, oh, maybe a movie is gonna happen. Um, no one knows. Oh, no. And I think he said he's had like an ending planned out just in case it got a movie or something. But end up having another series because of like, there were things that they wanted to do for a film that he just wasn't fucking with. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, uh, I think it's not out of the realm of possibility that this is planned out. Because Samurai Jack was also um, hella episodic during this hate time. So, yeah, I feel like I feel like, like an ending has to be planned out. Like, as long as you have a start and ending, like, you can do anything in the middle, basically speaking. Mm-hmm. Like, have a whole fucking magic cult. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll get <laughs> to that later. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. But, yeah, when... We initially watched the first five episodes. I was thinking to myself, it's like, where's the show going? I Mm -hmm. I think it would be a good mini series, but I can't like when I heard season two was announced. I'm like, where where do we go from here? I haven't seen the whole season, but I was just thinking to myself, this would be a perfect mini series, but I can't see it being a whole show. But, you know, after seeing six through ten, I'm like, wow, you know. Mm-hmm. situations escalate very quickly and there's new in, uh characters introduced and some character arcs that have been built up um dramatically yeah. more than one through five <clears throat> i would say well yeah, i would we- say that well i really i just say that for episode 10 to be fair yeah <laughs> like uh, the rest of them it's like oh no is this just gonna be like Oh, these guys are in this situation now. These guys are in this situation now. How will they survive? They they keep they keep lucking out of almost every situation, basically. Speaking. Yeah, there's certainly some plot armor issues <laughs> with these characters. I mean, they still get you know beaten up pretty badly, yeah. but yeah. <clears throat> I, but I also see with the characters just the links that Spear would would go through for Fang. Yeah, uh, we see yeah. that even more so in the la- later half of the season than yeah just yeah. that the you know, the relationship has built so much and it's really cool to see one yeah. thing we didn't mention from episode 16 is primal was actually screened as a film the first four episodes did was you know it? about this yes wow <laughs> yeah so maybe that was the thing with like it being split up and not released i don't know why it wasn't the first five episodes is just the first four as a film i'm i'm not entirely sure hmm. but yeah it was screened at the london west hollywood uh, at beverly beverly hills in 2019 and it was submitted for best animated feature category for the 92nd academy awards but sadly oh. it wasn't nominated for some fuck all reason but you know yeah what can't say i'm like too big of a fan of how award shows handle most of their nominations but you know yeah, i, I mean i wouldn't like- i wouldn't call this an acquired taste it's just a good show and i i hear a lot of people praising this show so Basically, you're saying they got beat up by um, a new Family Guy. <laughs> no, yeah, kidding. they got beat up by a Family Guy episode. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think Family Guy actually has won some Emmys or Academy Awards or what have you. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well. Like, there's definitely some scenes where you can like. I can see th- how that scene specifically. No, it's cool. It's chill. Family uh. Guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I used to. I mean, the older episodes were okay, but it's just evolved into just writer's block and a show that desperately needs to end, like most shows that are airing nowadays. Yeah, I was like, from the nineties for everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> there's a lot of cases. A lot of cases. They just can't oh. let go. I don't think I ever, like, properly got into Family Guy. Like, I've seen episodes, of course, but I don't mm-hmm. think I've ever, like, 
properly, properly been into it. I mm-hmm. was was more of an American Dad fellow myself. Yeah, yeah, I like I like American Dad. Um, yeah. yeah, I was I was an avid watcher of Family Guy throughout my youth. Um, I think I stopped watching around like fifteen or sixteen. I just stopped caring, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and just you know the episodes got. It just depreciated in value and just wasn't really that funny. I like it, yeah. like you said, I enjoyed American Dad a lot more with more interesting characters, more interesting storylines to be had. Mm-hmm. It wasn't as linear or had like a particular setup that Family Guy usually has, like their mm-hmm. typical formula with each episode. It's like a A plot and a side B plot and some yeah. cutaway gags. It, yeah. And but I think uh, even if we're talking about like um um older cartoons that should end, like I I think older uh I think older Simpsons holds up better than older Family Guy. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Simpsons it's like seasons one through like eight or nine are like golden years of television. They're like just so good. Such good episodes of yeah. like just TV in general, not even in an animated category, but just TV in general, TV shows. Um, yeah. Should we go ahead and get this we, started? Yeah, though? let's talk about episode six, Scent of Prey. Or as I called it, the vultures, the hyenas, Fane, stay with me. Were they hyenas? I, I, I mean, I, I came to that assumption too, Lola. Well. They look too fucking weird to be hy- What are these creatures? <laughs> Why do they have these demon red eyes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, and there's bugs too, like those... Um, oh, yeah. Why are they called? Like those prehistoric like cockroach creatures? I know what you're talking about. Arachnopods or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something, something like it, that. It's not quite something that. Something like that. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's see. Yeah, arachnopod. Oh, okay. Wait, is it? No, no, that's not it. It's like a. Um, that know, is a creature, like a, though. Prehistoric. Is insect. it like a? I don't know. It looks like a horseshoe crab a little bit. <sighs> Man, just like a prehistoric version. It's there's like a meme. Remember there was a meme about it, like a couple of years back. <laughs> like, the sad part about this is I can remember the um the Pokemon version of it more than I can remember the actual. <laughs> like there's a Pokemon called um uh damn um um warm. Wormy pod or wimp pod or something like that. That looks very, <laughs> looks very similar to those bugs. Mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. A f- I wasn't a fan of the creepy c- crawly scene. Yeah, in same. my notes, I have the bugs. Ew. The bugs. Ew. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> and then, and then Fang like used their uh, exoskeleton as like. His brass knuckles. Yeah, yeah his brass, <laughs> that was badass. At the end of the episode, <laughs> where like there's like thousands of them over there, and I'm like, how the hell is he gonna fight these people? <laughs> yeah, the episode just ends with them yelling. Was... Yeah, epic. It's just pretty, pretty epic. Just what the, did you think of this all episode? around epic episode? Um. <laughs> Were you happy that? Were you happy that it was like a (laughs) continuation of the previous episode? Like Fang wasn't Fang wasn't just okay. The next episode, Uh, yeah, that would be Family Guy esque. But um, I mean, I I, I'd figured they would, you know, if they left on such a big cliffhanger like that, they would Mm. continue it without it just being like, oh yeah, he's okay actually. Yeah, I think I I think the only we knew from the beginning that he was okay, but yeah. I think the only issue I had with it was, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, like, why were the hyenas jumping at them one at a time instead of, like, all, like, just mauling them at <laughs> once? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I get they had to win, but come on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just that convenient plot armor, you know? 
Yeah, man. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But I mean, it, yeah, it was all right. Episode we get to we see the links that Spear will go to for Fang. Yeah, yeah. In order to help cute. his pal out. Yeah, it was pretty cute. And at the end, Fang burst out like a boss and just started tearing people up. Mm-hmm. It's like, were you really that badly injured to begin with? Like, she had a problem with her leg, you could see, yeah. but, like, she was just being lazy. <laughs> oh, my God. She was. <laughs> You'd say that to somebody with a broke leg in the hospital, like, come on, get up. Go, come Stop on. Stop being a bitch. Stop being a pussy. <laughs> but, episode seven. Plague of Madness. Let's check out the notes. It's the uh, zombie dinosaur episode. Yeah, that's what I said. Zombie dinosaurs? <laughs> Every boy's dream right here. It really is. It combines <laughs> the best of both worlds. And honestly, this episode kind of creeped me out with just like the body horror of the oh, deterioration yeah. of the dinosaurs and even that a dream that Fang had where his like fingers were melting off. And weren't these, aren't these like bronchiosaurus, I think, right? Uh, it says here Argentina, Argentinosaurus? Argentinosaurus? Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I don't know okay. if I'm pronouncing them correctly, but... <laughs> But um, that's how it's I think. I think, I, think I think the worst scene, the genuinely worst scene, was when um when the first dude got bit, and um he's like he's going for a sip of the water, and then you see him like change, and mm, then he just like yeah. just starts throwing up blood in there. It's like oh oh god. Like I oh, said, god. this like this episode is brutal. It creeped me out genuinely. It's just the body <laughs> horror was on a, another level. And yeah. and then like when that dinosaur like dissolved in the lava it was oh my gosh oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man oh what <laughs> like this, but this show just upped the ante of like brutality this Mortal Kombat levels of <laughs> body but horror. what I what I will say about this episode was there was a lot of um funny comedic time within here like whenever whenever Spear and Primal are trying to go away and they're like. Wait, something's behind us right now. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, yeah. I, uh, also, also, I just want to point out one more scene where, like, the, the dinosaur, like, fell over and, like, broke the other dinosaur's necks and stuff. Do you remember that oh, scene? Yeah. 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 yeah no, yeah, yeah. So, I have one here on. Throwing up blood, stepping on eggs, and destroying his entire family. It's basically. it's fucked. It's a fucked up episode, honestly. <laughs> and I'm just like, what? Oh god. <laughs> and yeah, then uh, episode eight Kombat gets even weirder. <laughs> oh my god! This show takes a turn for the weird and the obscure. <laughs> like, it, I feel like we're in a whole different season, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. There's so much escalation and variety yeah. to the conflict. Like yeah, episodes like, one through five, it's like conflict that you would expect in these prehistoric primal times. But then it's just like I don't know. Yeah, I don't think is, there's anything is, on the record for like a disease eating like plague of dinosaur and, and like a coven of witches. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is this is generally my entire notes for this episode. Stumble across a cult? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> Green fire burning someone alive. Leader comes. Okay, stumble across a creepy pasta magic cult. Then I'm just like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> They're like, still the essence of the males to make offspring. Uh, yeah. And then it's like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, this one, <laughs> this one's a weird one. I don't like. Yeah. Will this come back around these, this coven of witches, or is this just an idea was that just, was thrown at the wall? I, I think it was just an episode, mate. I, f I mean, I feel like there's a lot of complex, well, not complexity to it, but just like more to it. T t just be like a one-off episode. Surely this idea will be introduced this more 
it felt like a more elaborate flashback episode. Yeah, there's like a redux. Where we came from. Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of a redux of the first episode. <laughs> like like um, this, this witch lady is like, like I could tear these people apart and let this dude get sacrificed, but let me look back on their past right quick. Oh, both yeah, of the families like got said, eaten. I feel that very much sympathy. Plot convenient arm, you know. <laughs> 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 I feel sympathy for these guys now. Damn it! Why do we have to capture these guys? They're so sad. Just I, like I mean, me. something that would make me reluctant to take Spears' live essence is he's just a unit. He's like a beautiful, big, 100%. bulky unit. I wouldn't yeah. want to take that away from him. So when he was when he was yelling. I'm like, dog, that would have got me. I would just be like, yeah, okay, dog, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's just a big, beautiful man, and I, I don't want to take that away from him. I want him to have yeah. every right to be that, and just to see him to be like a, a shell of his former self, like just a dead yeah, skeleton so, corpse would just be too heartbreaking. So, so question. <clears throat> yes. Why... Why didn't she let them free right there and wait until the night when everybody else was around? Ah, man. <laughs> I like, like the show, but there are you... some glaring flaws with it, yes. It's like, I could let you free and set Fang free, but eh, I'll just put him more under my control. And we'll just try this tonight. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just sacrifice myself for you. So I don't know what this means, but apparently, not this episode, I'm I'm backtracking a little bit here, but episode seven was apparently released on April Fool's last year. Mm-hmm. Do you know anything about that or no, any didn't. backstory of that? No, I, don't. I mean, there, there's probably no backstory. So, I mean, they like doing stuff like that. Like, uh, I think um, there was one time a few years ago that. Like a new Rick and Marty episode came out on April Fool's Day. They just like doing stuff like that sometimes. Hmm. It's like maybe to pop a rating. I don't know because you never know what to expect on April Fool's Day. I don't know. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. Zombie dinosaurs. They didn't expect it. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of like it would be just a very weird episode to stumble across after episode five. It's like. Uh, well, okay, okay. <laughs> what's going on uh, although like six was kind of a normal episode yeah it was comparative to five so it wouldn't be like too different but yeah it would be quite this, a surprise on april fools i I, I, I mean if it was released on april fools i would just like suspect it to be like okay this one's just a, like not canon and i could see that happening like it not being mm-hmm. canon, like no, if, because I I don't know because I think all of them were made like around the <clears> same time, so I think no, it's just well, like I know, one day I being know. I'm just, I'm just saying if if this was like not part of this mm-hmm. first season and was made specifically for April Fools, I could see that being the case. Oh, okay. okay Especially okay. if like i mean it would it would be a a dead giveaway that it would be an april fool's joke if like the the dream that spear had came to fruition and he died (laughs) him and fang died like that (laughs) that would be crazy yeah yeah. but then you'd be uh, reassured it's april fool's episode so it it didn't really happen so yeah i think um i think maybe the witch episode would have made more sense on april fool's day yeah Yeah, uh, seven and eight. Hmm. Oh, oh, question. All right. So, no, no, not a question. This is just going to be a shitty joke. This is just going to be a okay. shitty joke. All right, go for it. So this this wish lady, mm-hmm. she went to look at her past, you know, when she got her child and had to raise it and stuff. Mm-hmm. Is her kid fucking dumb? Like, how did it uh, fall off a cliff? Well, you know... <laughs> You know how kids are. I mean, the the fields, the field of flowers or whatever were high. You know, you couldn't really see, and she was running. Maybe I'll give her the maybe, benefit of the doubt. Maybe, maybe I think this kid might just be a fucking idiot, though, bro. <laughs> it's like, well, this this cartoon just showed a child child death. Uh, okay, 
Well, I mean, they did <laughs> in the beginning, but it wasn't as... Yeah. Visual. Yeah. Yeah. It's a brutal world out there, especially in prehistoric times. There do be brutal worlds out there. Obviously. <laughs> Number nine, the Night Feeder. Uh, yeah, like another episode? fillerish episode. Did you like this episode? Um, mm, I think, it was I think fine. When you think of episodes that have genuine like plot armor, this is that episode, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Because I was like, I was like, dog, these these animals are getting mollywhopped by this creature. Absolutely. What the hell is this? Absolutely, they're like disintegration with how quick and brutal the bite of whatever this creature is. We didn't ever get a look at it. Maybe it will return in a latter episode. I'm suspecting that to happen. We're just but introduced no, we did. to this. No, we did see it at the end. Did we? Yeah, it got burned alive. Mm, I don't remember. You mean that was from... No, 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 no. They, uh, they did the fire stuff and did the circle thing around it. Right. And then, and then spear threw his fired on spear on him and it got burned alive. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So I was like, oh, uh, okay, I guess. Well, this is kind of pointless then. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a big build up to something, a, a, a bigger conflict in season two, but... Uh, nope. I guess I was a little preoccupied and I didn't really. Nope. All those trees. I, what I did like about this episode, though, like, all, while, while the story itself is just kind of eh, I did like the um, first person view. I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. The panning and the zooming through the forest. Yeah. yeah. And you get to see the trees just being fucking mollywopped into. Even um, though, like, the, the it was like the same assets <laughs> reused over and over. <laughs> you got to see weird. the triceratops being like chopped in half and stuff. Yeah, somehow. yeah. There's some cool, yeah. like, camera tricks, if you will, in then this episode. See, some visual uh, flair, but not much in a way of substance. Substance. And then you, and then you get, and then you see it get burned and. It didn't look like that much of a threat. I don't remember <laughs> seeing it. It didn't look like that much of a threat. Like Let I said, me... I was preoccupied with a little bit of work. Let me see if I can find it. Episode 9. Night Feeder. Revealed. As you can see, this is the professional podcast. Yeah, 100%. Mm. If you just search for um, Primal Night Feeder, it'll be the first image on Google. Okay. Primal Night Feeder. Okay. And I was like, oh, that, that's kind of disappointing. It didn't look like much of a threat. I mean, yeah. I mean, it looks kind of intimidating, but... Compared compared to fucking Fang, <laughs> Fang's just a tiny little bitty dinosaur. Yeah. Okay. okay. She harmless. All right. She do be harmless, but okay. <laughs> she do be cute and harmless. I'm not gonna and, not gonna fault you for that. And then episode ten, where a lot of plot is introduced. Yes. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> since like essentially nothing has happened since. Six, seven, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a been, while. It's been, it's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a hundred percent a minute. But episode ten, which was really good, surprisingly, mm -hmm. they were on a beach chilling. They're like, okay, this is gonna be a normal episode. I see it. <laughs> normal episode I see, again. <laughs> I see them fishing. I see them fishing. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then you see like a human pop up out of the water, and like, wait a second, was that a human? What the hell? So and then Fang goes after him. Not Fang, Spear. My bad. Mm -hmm. And there's some strong hints that she's a slave by the wooden collar and like yeah, chains. Hence. Yeah. That she's yeah, wearing. Definitely just hints. <laughs> <laughs> 
blatant uh, innuendos, shall we say? Is the innuendo that she's a slave? Mm-hmm. Yep. It's mm-hmm. uh, it's it's in passing, really. It's not, you know, it's not in plain view that she's a slave. It's kind of insinuated. <laughs> it's insinuated know? with yeah, with this deep, with this deep, um, subtle hints. <laughs> deep subtle hint. I love that. Um, yeah. And she a has a branding on the back of her bald ass head. Scorpion. She does have like a <laughs> weird ass head. It's like ooh. I mean, I get why they made you bald for the scorpion tattoo, but not a good look. <laughs> oh my god, dog! I'm on, I'm on the primal wiki, and it says occupation slave. Wow. <laughs> Whew, well, that's something to put on your resume. There is indeed something to put on that resume. I was 12 years a slave. 100%. I'm trying to, like, find out, like, what language she was speaking. And I think I think this is saying that uh, she was speaking Arabic. I think. Whatever the first language was. I don't think it was Arabic, though. I don't know. That's just what this wiki's saying. I don't know if it's like... I don't know. Uh, I do want to know what language she was speaking in here. Because, like, it was funny. She just like, Mira. <laughs> and Spears just looking at her like, yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> She's just kind of <laughs> looking at her weirdly like, yeah, no, okay. Noise. Yeah. And she gathers these roots and these plants, you know, like fruits and vegetables and cooks like a stew, you know, some pussy shit. You try to feed them some like potato or something. It was like some sort of root vegetable. And while Fang did like it, it, Spear was like, I ain't having any of this pussy shit. And just, yeah, I need, I need my meats. I need the gains. Yeah. He needs the protein. I mean, he's a unit. You know, he's yeah, got exactly. He's got to keep that mass. Yeah, Grr, mass. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Alpha Brain. Do you want to get massive, big, meaty, juicy, just like Spear? <laughs> well, click on our affiliate link. <laughs> Use code <Yeah>. Scooge <laughs> uh, <laughs> for ninety nine percent off. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, and then okay, deal. so so later on during the night, um. They're having a fire. Um, she's writing. She's writing stuff down on the um, on the ground. And Spears like, okay, I'll draw something too. I'll draw the tattoo on the back of her head. And then she just starts doing full on like sentences, and I'm like, hold up a second. <laughs> like that's big in this show. Like you can't just flat out just go out and start speaking out of nowhere. Yeah. That leaves so many questions. <laughs> Is this just like the one prehistoric place in a, in like a modern world? I don't. Know. Yeah, that that's what I was wondering because I had the cell boat at the very end of the episode. Yeah, I, like, well, I don't think you know we had the the we've developed tools to that point where we could sail across. I, I'm not exactly sure when cell boats were invented, but. <laughs> I don't think they existed in these times. So that yeah, does like leave some open ended questions. Is there like a, is this just one sect of Earth that just hasn't developed yet? And there's a more, more, I don't know, because there are prehistoric animals and bugs. I mean, obviously mm-hmm. there's dinosaur as a main character, but I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Like, like all of all of the ending of my notes are in like capital letters, exclamation marks, question marks all around. I'm like, the first one is just she can speak Lamau. Then it's like shoe prints, a full ass ship. Spear said his first <laughs> word. I'm like, what year is this? <laughs> well, I mean, it might be a, another Gindiism where he introduces time travel. Within this yeah, series. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's uh, a possibility. Yeah, it's a possibility. <laughs> it's a possibility. I don't know. Like, 
maybe maybe they're set in like the Bermuda Triangle or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or whatever that sea or that the the Malaysian Airlines disappeared. And yeah. Also yeah. recently an Indonesian submarine disappeared. Oh Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh I mean even though I don't know what the fuck she's saying, it's nice to hear people talking. I, I have to say it's it's refreshing to hear people talking in the series. <laughs> I was kind yeah, of I meant the maybe. silence is like the storytelling of like showing and not having dialogue is nice. I do like dialogue in my shiz, you know what I mean? So Oh damn, he's calling a y'all Gindy. He said that's a novelty. Silencing your stuff is a novelty. It's a gimmick. Alright, let's just <laughs> cut let's cut to the chase. Let's cut to he the said, criticism he's here. A, he's it's a, a gimmick. shitty storyteller. It's just a novelty at it's a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean I mean this this just shows that season two is gonna have a lot more dialogue than season one because season one is the build up to this world and developing our characters and relationships and possibly this time travel aspect um yeah because you can only assume that they're they're gonna go after them yeah of, of course i mean it, he it, says is, mira at the end yeah and yeah this is very this is gonna be the funny part all right so now now that we've said all this all i can think about is uh it's like seeing spear in a city full of normal ass people. <laughs> Imagine. So oh my so gosh. <laughs> that they that see would him. be yeah, that would be crazy. They see him like kill somebody and they're like, Well, we gotta put this guy in trial, right? <laughs> we gotta lock this guy up, right? I I mean I, it would honestly be cool to see this like a curveball thrown at us like that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. I like I am genuinely curious what they're going to do next with the series. Yeah, and, and here's I, I'm the thing. pleasantly, I mean, I'm happy about it, you know. It's not yeah, just like the- <laughs> a straightforward, primitive, primal story. Mm-hmm. It, uh, there, it feels like there's more to this world and yeah, a lot of here, layers to it. Here's the thing. Once we see a city, I feel like there's going to be a lot of theories once we see a city, like what time Texture's period laboratory. this 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 is the second yet. He's gonna show up in Dexter's lab. That's where the time travel gets introduced. Is with the Dexter's laboratory. Next thing you know, you see Jack getting flung up through the air, and you're like, "Oh, okay, it's all connected." <laughs> you see, like you see, like a Star Wars battleship somewhere. You're oh like, my gosh. damn. The Gindi we universe to, is connected. We don't connected. have to connect it that tighten it. <laughs> Symbiotic Titans. Like mm. that's a that's one of the failed Gindi stuff, but it's still I like that it's really good. I mean the the biggest compliment I could give this series, and I I'm honest about this. I'm genuine. I'm just glad that Spear finally has a waifu again. <laughs> you know? to simp over yeah, you know, throughout yeah. the series i mean he simps yeah. for fang too but yeah that's like wait a second fang's a wife hold up a sec bro no fang's no a fang is not a wife <laughs> we don't have to be on some weird <laughs> reptile philia furry shit but bro fang's a wife okay furry calm down oh my God. <laughs> fang is not a wife <laughs> fang is not a dino wife she's a dinosaur I bet there's it. some Rule 34 out there. Oh, my God. Please don't <laughs> engrave that into my head. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm not even going to speak of the horrors. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not either. I'm not either. <laughs> I was like, so, I could go into more detail, but I was like, wait mm-hmm. a second. This is going to be on YouTube. Which brings up the question. Will Spear get a new name as the series develops? No, because no one's technically been named in show yet. Mira? Yeah, besides Mira, I mean like Spear and Fane. They're only named in like the scripts and stuff like that. I know, so will he get a new name? I feel like Like she's just going to end up naming him Spear, right? It'd be weird to call him something else. I mean, 
Could call him like Dave or something. <laughs> Dave the Barbarian. <laughs> Conan. <laughs> and Fang's name would be Trisha. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. <laughs> Beautiful. Jurassic. Beautiful. And, <laughs> anyway, we didn't give like a rating in episode 16. Not saying you have to, Darius, but since we have completed the first season of Primal, how would you rate the first season? Um. Okay, so if I were to rate the first season, I'd say... One through five was better than six through, not including ten, six through nine. I feel like the first few episodes were better than um, the last half, Mm -hmm. not including ten. So maybe seven out of ten, eight out of ten. And that's only because of like the later half of the episodes. Mm Hmm. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I just I just think the series brings so much to the table. It does I mean, so. It it a hundred percent does so. And it's just re- refreshing. And I might lower it, you know, after some more thought. But I think I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. There are some setbacks mm, with some okay. of the some episodes feel very filler ish, mm. and some plot conveniences but i know they need to be had but i think it just brings a lot of cool scenes and a much needed yeah. refreshment of adult animation and i appreciate this series and oh yeah a hundred percent when it comes to adult one. animation this stands out yeah. by miles <laughs> <laughs> they're like yeah well, can you say uh, to- can you can you say kilometers for our foreign viewers <laughs> by kilometers <laughs> Thank you. They're like, they're like, yeah. Um, since this is adult animation, what do we need? Uh, sex jokes. That's Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good adult animated show. (laughs) We need ass jokes, dick jokes, boob jokes, um, racist jokes. Um, That's right. That is right. (laughs) Well, it's a given. (laughs) Talk talk about how much your pussy stink. Yeah, and, let's just swear a lot. Let's yeah. just swear a lot. That that makes us adult, right? Yeah, that makes it funny, right? Yeah, that makes it funny, right? It, there's like some... Oh my gosh. The worst offender of adult animation is definitely the Netflix original adult animation series. And I think you can agree with me on that one. <laughs> Wait, what? The Netflix originals adult oh animation oh, series they're the worst no, offender no yeah, yeah, yeah i can 100 percent agree with them. <laughs> i haven't looked at any of them like personally, par- don't but you're every, fine. everybody you're but fine. everybody's you don't need to see them like everybody's Paradise, like family Speedy, grab and, prof, question mark question mark i mean i feel like even family guys more mature Jesus. and gracious than these uh, yeah they're i think like the only one i was bottom of the tempted barrel. to look at was um disenchantment and that's just because it's by the people that did futurama um yeah and simpsons of course but yeah it's fine Mm -hmm. like i wouldn't i wouldn't count that as like a juvenile Mm -hmm. yeah i mean i'm sure there's some juvenile jokes as there are in futurama but um can't think of anything else really is is bojack a netflix original or i think it is actually yeah. Oh, okay. That, but so I guess maybe that stands out as well. But yeah, besides that, that <laughs> besides that, like the only other the only other fucking adult animation I've seen was what were we gonna talk about? I forgot the name of it. Uh oh yeah, the space one. No, 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 not that. The uh thing on Netflix. The oh, Big kids. Mouth. Yeah, Big Mouth. Okay. Big Mouth. Yeah, yeah. That fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Bro. It <laughs> sucks, bro. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Darius and I were supposed to talk about Big Mouth months ago, but we never got yeah. around to it. We both we both saw the first season we in its both entirety. We saw the entire first season. <laughs> we never 
I don't know. Maybe what? Well, it's been so long that we would have to rewatch it. And yeah. I don't think that it's worth it. I think no, I think no, no, just no. on our own accord to see the first season and be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this one's not for me. Yeah, hundred percent. Perfectly okay. I'm perfectly content with that. Without yeah. making the only thing I'm curious about is why Lil Yachty was in a season four. <laughs> That's the only okay, thing okay, I'm curious we about. Had to, we had to watch season four, like with no context <laughs> of the characters. I'm sure there's not that much development that's happened in the first no, season. No, we could watch the, we could watch the fourth season for Lil Yachty and give <laughs> our thoughts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> bro i wouldn't want to watch that when i when i get home and my parents are just like yo what is this on tv <laughs> and I'm like, uh, uh, just for educational purposes i'm just looking you at this for understand. educational you, you would understand. have it's, it's too complicated for you That's to understand <laughs> are these 12 year olds talking about their dicks uh <laughs> Is this, is this guy talking about getting hard for the rock? What's going on here? I, I don't know. I can't. I can't explain it. I don't know. And for all you collectors out there, uh, d- um, the first season will be released on DVD and Blu-ray on June first for Dude, Primal. I would fucking love a book full of like concept art for this show or um. Mm-hmm. That like either nice. concept, like a, like full of concept art and like lore stuff that like <clears throat> they were going through to kind of like get the idea of the show or something. Right. I mean, I'm sure you can. Yeah. Yeah. The of course way, not right yeah, now. Yeah, of course yeah, yeah. not right now. But I, I won't. And maybe released. on the home release some figures, of some season be one. Dope. Maybe there'll be like some bonus features of like behind. Oh the yeah, scenes like stuff. behind the scenes yeah. type stuff. Oh, that'd that would be, be nice. Yeah, that would be. That nice. would be the only reason to get a Blu-ray, and just for the collectible, of course. Yeah, the, that novelty aspect of it. Um. All right, this has been episode seventeen. We usually like to brush our viewers up on what we're gonna watch next, so you could get ready for that podcast to listen with us and see if you're whatever you know you watch it come back we watch it as well we talk about it um so did we did we do that last time last time i think well we no, did we, we, we did said it was gonna be justice that. league but we, we never did, did justice okay, yeah, league. we did that well, we did that okay we okay. technically did justice league, but <laughs> 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 we ran into some technical hiccups not and Joseph's just, fault, by the way. I just want to clarify, it wasn't Joseph this no, time. No, it is J. Master's fault. Oh, wait, it is Joseph's fault. Sorry. It's always Joseph's it's, fault. Yeah, Joseph <laughs> fucked up the whole episode 17 that we initially had. Um, so we apologize if any viewers out there were, were looking forward to listening to our Justice League review, but we'll probably never get to it. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Um, now it's just Sonic the Hedgehog and Detective Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> So, I'm thinking, well, it's hard because J-Mash is scheduling so fucked up now. Um, mm-hmm. But Fizgeek is on board to do a Mortal Kombat episode with us. So, episode 18 will either be Mortal Kombat 2021, released on HBO Max, and, or Sonic the Hedgehog, which is Darius and I. Mm-hmm. so i would yeah. just say watch both of those we'll do <laughs> one of them um for episode 18 we thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next episode yep that is right peace peace